The epidermis is the tough, leathery outer surface of the skin, ranging in thickness from 0.06 to 0.6 millimeters, with the thickest portions located in the palms of the hands and the soles of the feet. The epidermis is arranged in five layers that represent different stages of cellular differentiation. As new cells are formed, older cells elongate and their membranes thicken as they are pushed upward into the next epidermal layer. Let's explore these layers by clicking on the tabs to your left. The deepest layer, the stratum basale or basal layer, is attached to the dermis below by a thin acellular basement membrane. The basement membrane acts as scaffolding for the epidermis and as a selective filter for substances moving between the epidermis and the dermis. The epidermis is avascular, receiving its blood supply through the diffusion of nutrients from the dermis across the semi-permeable basement membrane. The stratum spinosum is the next layer. It consists of several rows of more mature keratinocytes, which appear spiny under a microscope. Just above the stratum spinosum is the stratum granulosum. This layer contains three to five flattened cell rows with increasing concentrations of keratin. As the stratum lucidum is a thin, clear layer of dead skin cells in the epidermis and is named for its translucent appearance under a microscope. The stratum lucidum is found beneath the stratum corneum in areas where skin is thicker, such as the palms of the hands and soles of the feet. The outermost layer of the epidermis is called the stratum corneum or horny layer. This layer consists entirely of dead keratinocytes. The stratum corneum can be 20 to 30 cells thick. The keratin in these cells helps keep the skin hydrated by preventing water evaporation. These cells can also absorb water, further aiding in hydration. This explains why you experience wrinkling of the skin when your fingers are immersed in water for long periods. There are a variety of cells located in the epidermis.